Greetings, I am the Mystical Muse, Musing in the Madness. This audio blog is going to be on the curse of bad luck. I want to tell you what it is, and I also want to tell you what it is not. Because some people uh, contact me and they think they're in a, a, a situation where bad luck is just always permanent. And sometimes it is not that. That just um, sometimes you know this is just life tests and trials, or it could be, of course, another a, a different type of curse, or it can just be you just lack of you know knowledge or wisdom in a certain area, and you keep making the same mistakes because of sabotage or uh, problems with procrastination. So that isn't you know a bad luck. Uh, one sister emailed me and said she just always uh, has nightmares, and she sees you know this crow in her nightmares and then you know during the day she sees like crow symbols and she's just thinking this bad bird of prey is just after her and she's just under some streak of bad luck no that's not what it was uh what what was at all anytime a bird is uh showing up or manifesting in any type of dream or you see bird signs that just means there's a level of wisdom bird belongs to uh the element of air even you know in in um the bible what was it? Moses sent out those doves, which you know really are a symbol of something so much deeper than just peace. They they date back to uh, the prophetesses of the Bible, the original symbols of the Bible. But nonetheless, that's not what I, I told her. That it wasn't bad luck what she was going through. Bad luck is more than just an occurrence of natural things going out of order, or what you believe to be natural going out of order. Anytime someone is up under a curse of bad luck, it is a streak of bad events. Um, It can be from always having health scares to being prone to accidents all the time, prone to broken bones, you know, always prone to bad um, um, nightmares, just not not, not sometimes but, but always. You're always hitting yourself on something. If you're always forgetting stuff or misplacing things all the time, that that is, you know, connected to, you know, your mind and memory. But it's always something. It's, it'll be like you come out of a plateau and you think things are good and then whoosh, some crescendo hits and you're back at start. You cannot really save money. You can't save relationships, whether it's someone you're with or just friendships. There's always something going wrong, and when you think that you are at peace, then something comes back in and puts you back to having to start over um, all over again. That is what bad luck is, and I want to tell you something. Make no mistake, because these curses of bad luck are, I mean, to heal them, it really takes some work and, you know, some mentoring also, but at the same time, it really, really takes uh, someone that is committed, because A lot of times we don't want to admit that someone sent this curse to us. We don't want to admit that we got around the wrong people or either we're in the wrong relationship, we shook hands with the wrong person. Spirits, you know, travel all types of different. We got in the wrong argument. Sometimes we don't want to say that even sometimes when it connected to our family that someone in our family may have sent this to us. And that's why I... In all of the healing stuff that I do, I include the mentoring because I really want you all to get, be taught this, but also to get clear that these things just don't happen. They just don't happen. Somebody, something, some spirit, even if it's some entity, sent this. And with this curse of bad luck, it is a destructive curse. All curses are destructive, but this one particularly is because it is 100% Hell bent on you not succeeding in anything, in anything. Well, that is the audio blog for today. Uh, you all have a great time if you, you know, have any questions, and of course, or if you need to, you know, really um, start getting some work done on this one, then sign up below or just email me. Other than that, you all have a great day.